<clears throat> Hi everyone, uh, nice to see you again. Uh, my name is Iki and so today I would like to introduce you to Evita and Evita will tell us what she's doing and um, who is she. So Evita, really nice to meet you. Thank you very much for your time. Please Thank tell you. me, tell us. <laughs> Thank you so tell much. Tell us uh, about well, yourself. Who, mm -hmm. who I really am. I am the light of Christ in this realm. And so are you. I am the light that is beaming in your heart as well. Because we are one. Okay. And I've discovered this oneness within me uh, recently. Uh, I woke up in the year 2000, healed my body. I was terminally ill, diagnosed, yes. And I refused to believe in the diagnosis and I cleansed my body through fasting. And once I detoxed my body, I experienced Kundalini awakening, the tingling in my body and opening of my panio. And I realized I am not the body. I am just, I'm not this human body. And I'm not a persona here that I pretend to be. I can use that identity, but I am I don't have to identify with it. Yes. I realized that I'm not alone. I started to I started to feel the presence of my guides and receive guidance. And that path a path has opened up that it's been a path of freedom. So it's been already what 24 years and um, when I woke up, I decided, okay, I'm not going to have a, I'm, I'm not going to settle for less. I'm not going to do a job that I don't like. So desktop job, nine to five for people that, you know, for someone who doesn't even have my level of intelligence. <laughs> yeah. And I decided that I'm going to do what I prefer. And I feel that now is the time of, of ascension on earth. When not only earth is rising in frequency, but also we are waking up and we realize we're throwing, we're unlocking the chains, you know, we're throwing the chains off, we're leaving the bars, the prison bars of the mind that we've been holding on to, we're letting them go and we're choosing bigger life for ourselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell us, uh, maybe, please, how you can prepare your body because when the energy, uh, when you start waking up, uh, what's happening then? What's happening then? Can you tell us more about your experience mm -hmm. and how do you prepare your? How did you prepare yourself? How did you manage not to go crazy? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, when you when you begin to wake up, you realize you don't fit into society, mm -hmm. okay? And um, you realize that no matter how much you try to fit in, it still feels like you are wearing shoes that are too tight. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter how much commi how committed you are to fit into some kind of a religious organization or spiritual, you know, new age organization or fit into a matrix relationship. Right. And and or, or, a, or a corporation or whatever you realize you just don't fit no matter what you do. Mm. And it's very shocking because you, you, you know, you feel alone. Mm. Yes. And there's a lot of sadness that can arise during this time. And it's, it's okay. Sadness is very purifying. You know, there's something very beautiful, very purifying about just sitting, allowing yourself to cry, allowing mm. yourself to purify with the, you know, with tears. Yeah. And once you realize that you don't fit, then you ask yourself, okay, so why am I here? Well, I realized I am here not to fit in, I'm here to change things. I'm here to create new reality. I'm here to, to, to be an example of unconditional freedom mm. for people, Uncon unlimited possibility, yes? And um, you realize that you are here to be a leader. And since childhood, I practically felt like, I don't know, who are those world leaders? Who are those people? There was a time when, as a journalist, I even interviewed people on TV who claimed to be world leaders. In reality, they were just misleaders. It's very clear, right? And it's very clear that they didn't care much about Mother Earth or children of the Earth. Yes. And so on. So uh, since childhood, I knew that I am a new world leader on Earth. 
like planted here to germinate you know like a seed to germinate and it did not make any sense at the beginning but um, the more i awaken my consciousness the, the more i realize aha certain people were scared by my presence yeah triggered and so and that is fine mm. because when they actually you know all those so so-called narcissists that all of a sudden get activated once you wake up, all of a sudden you piss off a lot of people. Just by the fact that you walk into a room, you raise the frequency that, you know, you don't know because you don't know the, the way this room was before, mm -hmm. right? It walks with you, you bring light. And, and you know, you, you might trigger certain people who are part of this simulation. They are like sentient programs of the matrix software that can basically be, be activated and weaponized to stop you on your journey. And guess what? The more they, they want to stop you, the more pressure they provide. Mm. When they provide pressure, this carbon body, yes, we know that we, have, we, we incarnated into this technology. Our spirit animates the human body, this avatar, that's our body technology. Carbon body needs pressure, okay? 666 carbon. What happens when carbon has pressure? It becomes a diamond, okay? So um, during the ascension process, we have a choice. We can descend and vibe on the frequency of fear and anger and jealousy and frustration and try to, mm -hmm. try to fit in. And the only solution then is, you know, drag yourself out and, you know, dope yourself with alcohol or meds because how, how are you gonna fit in, yes? Or your choice is to be unconditionally forgiving, radically forgiving for all the pressure that you've experienced in life. All those toxic relationships, all the trauma, drama of this of 3D reality. You can choose that all of this was, uh, all those people, all those beings were serving you. Yes. And I have to sorry you here and I want to ask you for next video, we're going to make it, we're going to make uh, how to go through this process of radical forgiveness, step by step. Fantastic. So the next yes. video will be about this, like how to do it, because it's a process which needs a little bit of explanation, but I've done it and it's amazing. It's very profound because they're teaching us now, like how to be in peace, how to forgive. And it's like, oh, it's easy to forgive, but it's not so easy. You have to go really deep into you. Yes. And be uh, very authentic. Very authentic. And then you can dissolve this. But this is going to be in the next program. But right. tell us now, only uh, one more thing, please. Tell us like how to prepare the body for this uh, mm -hmm. ascension. How to live your lifestyle. Like, because I can yes, see. Yes, exactly. Like, how That's, do you, you yeah. asked about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So, you know, there was a, um, in, in June 2020, on, around June 23, Schumann Resonance on Earth went haywire. Uh, many people called it the rapture wave and a group of people on earth were pulled out of matrix and um, the way I felt it in my body during this time time period basically was like a huge voltage of light that was piercing like beaming through into my brain like a vertical column of light that wanted to ground itself and you know if not the fact that I've been detoxing for years like um, doing coffee enemas, drink, waking up in the morning, doing salt water flush, Ayurvedic salt water flush. You can look it up, um, you know, you can look it up on my channel or you can Google this, right? And uh, juice fasting, practicing intermittent fasting, yeah? Um, even or spending a lot of time on, on in nature, bare feet on the ground. Even now as I'm speaking, Iki can testify I'm standing yes, bare feet well. on the earth. Yes, it's quite <laughs> muddy here, but it's energy flows and I'm able to deliver more, uh, more light, more wisdom mm. than otherwise when I had my shoes on. Yes. So um, preparing your body is key. Super hydrating. Yes. Like, for example, absolutely every single day I drink water with a little bit of uh, salt I highly recommend here Celtic salt, Celtic salt okay yeah or mm -hmm. Himalayan salt mm -hmm. yeah or oh, in Poland we have Kodawska yeah authentic <laughs> non-iodized salt mm -hmm. okay and a little bit lime or lemon 
and just hydrating super hydrating on this because basically in order for our body to transmutate yes and shift from carbon density and become more crystalline become more silica so it shifts from 666 carbon to 6 616 silica crystal okay it's very little shift but it's in order all the cells need to mutate yes so in order for that shift to happen and raise the frequency of the body the body needs to conduct energy and water is highly conducted we live in a water world yes this our realm is filled with water that's why it mirrors what is inside it's 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 reflected in our outside experience as a living mirror right so number one is super hydration detoxing your body and you know when this huge voltage of light came to me it was with me day and night for like 10 days i, I was just wondering like is this going to be like intense like this all the time that i'm going to walk with a pillar of light like you know streaming i literally felt like plugged into a high voltage of light from here and then and i i was like researching what is going on with me i don't know anything any mystic any other experience that i can actually speak with i would say st some i researched that it's some kind of a stellar gateway that has opened yes mm -hmm. some kind of a stellar portal so um when this energy came in sometimes i had so much headache in the night Yes, and a lot of you, I know a lot of you have different ascension symptoms. Yes, so what helped me, sometimes in the night, I just knew my, my guides were almost telling me, like, hydrate. I would wake up, the fastest way to hydrate is coffee edema. Yeah, and you know, they taught us all sorts of taboo that, oh, you know, don't do this, don't do that, because that is a medical procedure and blah, blah, blah. Well, it is, you know, my, the way I'm looking at it, it's my body my kingdom mm. and i do i'm a sovereign being i do whatever i want with my body i do whatever i want in my life the vocabulary that you know the vocabulary i cannot i must mm. i have to i need to i should i could i could have should have done that yes that i have to do you feel this this is slave talk mm. and anyone that tries to tell us you know from any outside authority nowadays in this ascension process needs to be highly questioned mm. okay the only authority here is inner authority all right so including my including me if you hear what i'm saying i have no authority absolutely to tell you what to do okay i share what has been effective in what has been working in my journey it's highly subjective mm. Exactly, and I, uh, my journey, I started like 10 years ago and uh, universe is sending me people like Evita to just confirm that I am on the right path because I also felt many times alone, I cried and I didn't fit in this world and you know, it's very difficult when you are, you cannot fit to the society, right? It's very like, uh, what's wrong with me? but actually now uh, from day to day i feel stronger i feel happier and i want to continue to live like that because i feel like i found myself and i do what i feel like not like someone told me to do things yes but this exactly. is the story so i am very... i want to ask mm -hmm. you something because mm -hmm. yesterday we had a very interesting conversation i would like you to share this that you know when you walk up one of the things that you've done was what you quit your job and you started to travel around the world yes how has been the universe taking care of you exactly so when i decide to get out of the system <laughs> and uh, i didn't know where i'm going like well i knew i feel like i need to go to spain to ibiza on that time but i didn't know how i'm gonna how i'm gonna support myself you know with the job language and suddenly everything started to appear, right people, right places. And since 2015, I traveled the world. I've been in Argentina, South Africa, United States, uh, Europe, around the Europe. I don't have a job like Monday to Friday. I am free person. I, I have always money. I have always abundance around me. And the resources show up as exactly. you need them. I have a yes. beautiful food. I have a beautiful experience, beautiful right. people. Mm -hmm. I don't have a fears. 
you know sometimes it's like what i'm gonna do but then it's enough to just as evita said go to the nature sit with yourself and then you will hear the whisper like go there but don't go with your head just always go with your heart because mm -hmm. there is the answers yeah so you have to trust you have to That's trust right. and yes. this is how we and live the life now <laughs> yeah and number one you know during the ascension process is um vote with your feet and remove yourself from toxic people right toxic environment and so on and it requires a lot of trust right mm. because you know part of us would like to keep our marriage working i mean it's just there's so much pressure like shame on you that you divorce right you you know break the the marriage and so on and in reality it's like who says so shame on me maybe i bring freedom to both of us mm. right you know so it's a it's an act of uh, saying no in a neutral state you know just saying no just like you say yes yeah and if no is not received and understood if you are not growing on the same path if you're not growing in your job then why staying there exactly it's not you just know? about the relationship no but it's in about any every... context exactly. of life you know mm. whether it is even also political right if the society wants you to do something because somebody important on television says so you basically refuse consent that's it mm. this is your realm you live in a private very very little world of yours okay you uh, imagine the uh, the reality is not we were told that we share this world like completely that it is you know there is this society we have to fit in right and be cookie cutter the same and in reality from quantum perspective uh, the truth is that i have my own quantum realm and it has her own quantum realm it's like a reality bubble and you have your own quantum reality quantum your universe right and in that universe you are 100 percent sovereign and free mm. unless you set off a less unless you walk off the throne and allow someone else to sit there mm. be it someone religious be it your spouse your boyfriend girlfriend if you make a false god out of someone or something in your life even opinion of other people right mm. you're going to end up living on the orbit of your own reality yes mm. out of alignment and it's time now ascension means what to ascend to the throne mm. right king ascends the rightful king so now is the time to ascend to the throne of your quantum kingdom. Yeshua said the kingdom is within you, mm. right? So when you sit on that quantum, on, in the center of reality, from the center, first of all, your, even your spine gets aligned vertically because now you're not circumambulating, walking on eggshells around somebody's you know, feelings, opinions, and so on, right? All of a sudden you stand in the center of reality and from the center you relate to people all the people come to you but you don't walk off the center you don't walk off the throne of your you don't give your power away mm. makes sense it's a different way of relationship mm. yes here in every single context and it your body responds immediately when you occupy the center of your toroidal field of your quantum realm immediately the spine gets aligned digestive system gets aligned okay works better uh, all of a sudden you have you have a lot of energy mm. okay mental clarity mm. confidence you're not a people pleaser anymore okay you all of a sudden you are in a place where you can give out of your own generosity and receive with your with gratitude and with with grace yeah you're not a beggar anymore mm. you are the king of your kingdom mm. amazing so um, thank you very much for now uh, we will have uh, more videos for you more informations uh, and but for now I'm really thank you really so much. happy thank you for your thank time you. and uh, to, to the next video <laughs> thank okay, you bye so bye. much <laughs> thank you thank you wow what an amazing thing yeah